Morning guys, Mark Ferrashi, Pro Tech Dog Training and Joker. It's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy. Push up. Yeah. And being Thanksgiving, just a regular day for me. I kind of made it a little special. I made myself a nice uh, red clam sauce for pouring over the string beans as I do every year. A little bit different, a little unorthodox instead of going with a regular old turkey and that sort of thing. So, we're out here with Joker this morning. I'm doing my regular, just listening to a lot of podcasts and always trying to learn and grow and get my head into the juices of what I do. So, um, one of my main things is to, uh, to lately anyway, is to get in a relationship with Don. And our relationship really is what matters. Joker's been with me since he's 12 weeks old. I've got somebody that's interested in maybe buying him. We'll find out if he does bite the bullet or if the Joker stays with me. And my transition in life right now is pretty heavy. In the next year, I'm going to probably transition pretty heavy. I don't know where I'm going to end up or what I'm going to do, but it brings back a lot of thoughts. But uh, this morning or last night, I got into um, early this morning on online as I sit there and lay there and listen. I got into one of Ivan Balvinov's uh, podcast with uh, Roger Abrantes, which is really a famous individual in ethology. Ethology is the study of animals and bringing a scientific aspect to uh, not just dogs, but all animals on God's green earth and uh, the science behind our interaction with them and how they learn, how they grow, that kind of thing. So it's really an interesting one. I kind of get off on I Ivan's uh, podcast because he's really been doing a good job and not about a quantity, it's about quality. It's who he's interviewing and, and what really makes him tick as an individual and where his brain goes into the study of, of dog training and the study of uh, that interaction and that relationship with your animal. That's kind of what I got out of this uh, episode, was um, how it touched on the uh, overall relationship with your dog. And that's kind of something that's synonymous with Ivan. Overall, he's really accented uh, his concept of play. And I think that is much, very much my whole analogy. Couche is our interaction with our dogs. Food, toys, tugs. But it really gets down to the relationship that we have with our dog, I see. <laughs> Lately, I've been working on a dog that I got in, a German Shepherd working dog line, working line Shepherd bitch, about 15, 16 months of age. And starting to try to get through to her based on what her owners have imprinted her with, which is basically the same thing that most owners that don't have knowledge have done. They get into a cute little puppy, they want to learn, they want to grow. They start doing their thing with a dog and their lifestyle takes over. You know, you got to survive, you got to feed the family, you're out doing the, the job. This gentleman's a plumber, but he's also got other skills that he's got, interests that he's gotten into over the years. Joker just decided he's going to go play. <laughs> he took off, going to go piss on a bush and cover the things. I start yakking at the screen so he knows he can take off. Actually, he had to do a dump. So he's over there doing a the dump. So um, it's real interesting to me to see what I already know and, and I understand as far as what I do with a puppy. And I develop a puppy in a certain way. On the very Thanksgiving, probably going to go up the street and enjoy uh, Kimberly's company. Most likely. She never cooks, she never does anything in that regard. She always goes to other people's houses or goes to the church and gets a plate of food on a Thursday. Joker. Good boy. You take a dump? Did you? You take a dump? No. Yeah. He wants to play. He says, I want to play. Where's the ball? Where's that ball? You know, well, where's it at? Where's the ball? Joker, with me. Opie. Good boy. I see. Good. Couche. Good. So uh, that was a very good episode with Ivan and Roger Abrantes. If you haven't heard it, you need to listen to it. I think he does his stuff online with YouTube. He transfers it over to a podcast or however he does it. It's an interesting aspect. 
So now that I'm sitting here yakking, as soon as I go into yakking, Joker goes off and does his own thing. One of his big problems, he always breaks when I, he, he breaks his downstays, things like that when I start yakking, because he knows I'm not paying attention to him. I don't have a direct inline communication with him. It's always a, a challenge to get him to do his downstays. When I get out here on screen, I want to yak at the screen, or I've got a customer over and I'm talking to them. As soon as I go into a yak session, he'll take off and do his own thing. Joker, get over here. Get over here. You piss on my tires. You're a dead dog. Come here. Which he does all the time. Opiate. What'd I say? Opiate. No. Opiate. Opiate. Here. Op no. Opiate. Ah, you're a pain in the butt. If I get in tune with him, he'll work for me, huh? You were gonna work for me? Are right, you? Yeah, come here. Oh, so in all the dogs that I work and produce, that I raise that are basically mine, like Joker and Buddy that I end up selling. Whoever gets them is going to be a very special individual because these dogs are unique. So a signature piece of art, a product that I have produced and turned out. And Joker, if you know of anybody that knows me, gets out there and they get to see this dog work, they know that. Couché. That relationship that matters. Joker. Hoppy. Couché. Good. Opie. Pattern and routine. Opie. Good. Opie. Good, good boy. Kushe, Asi, Kushe, Joker, Opie, good, good boy. Kushe, Pabuje. This is uh, pretty simplistic as far as IGP, Schutz, and this is the way you would teach a dog to go around. Of course, blind, and we usually use it. You saw me do it with a puppy. So what I've been trying to do is make sure he comes back to center. Something I haven't really accented, really been real keen on as far as getting with Joker anyway, done it with Buddy, where the dog comes right into my center and he's right there. Joker has a tendency to be real slow on his return. I just let him get away with it and I have an accent. I haven't emphasized that I want him to finish out. So now I'm going to emphasize it because I want to teach him to go around the blinds. He does the one blind, but he hasn't come back to center. And if you ever watch the sport of Schutzen, they have six blinds out for the advanced. They go down and lessen Schutzen one, two, and three. You get up to Schutzen three, there's, there's uh, six blinds on the field. And the owner will start. Opie, handler, owner, whatever, opie, couche, pabuj. See if I can get him to do this while I'm yakking, so I need to get him to do that better at that as well. And then the owner will start, give his indication to the judge he's ready. He'll send him to the first blind and start walking down the, the field, and there's six blinds all the way down as he's walking down the center of the, of the field. And then he will tell the dog, well, let's see, this is the center, and I'm walking this way. I'll send my dog to the first blind to go around it, come back to me, and you're yelling here each time. And it's a pattern train type of thing to do where the dog will start to come back towards the handler, but some dogs are emphasized in their training a little better. Couche, probably tired of that. That's what you're going to break right now. Um, where they will end up coming back to the, to the handler, and they will have a lot more emphasis on returning to the handler. And you can see the dog's 
um, attitude in the work that he knows he's supposed to come back to the handler. Those are the ones the judge is going to notice a little better. So some dogs just come back and they know they're going to go back to the next blind. So their attitude, their mental attitude in the work is such that they're not emphasizing that they're actually going to the handler first and then to that next blind. That's the way it should be, right? But it's a matter of emphasis in the training. So some trainers will actually get the dog to really give a good indication that they're coming back to the handler as he walks down that field. That's what I want to look like if I was, gonna, if I was to do it, if I was going to do it. I would want that dog to be emphasizing he's coming back to me and to the center. So I'm going to emphasize it through this, the way I'm doing it with the ball. So let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Good. Good. First thing I want to do is step out with my foot, point towards where I want him to go, and then send him. So what I want him to do is know that he's supposed to hold until I give him his command. So I've been working on that the last few days. That's why you see me doing this. Good. Rivet. And then back to me. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. And then back to this. So that'll be my first part of the puzzle. Where I break it apart. Joker pretty excited to see. He's off running on the field. Joker. Wet you. Yeah. Out. Nope. Joker. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Out. Yeah. Push up. Wanna start our pattern again? Done. Yeah. Good. Good boy. Up the air. Nope. Up the air. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Ribbit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good boy. Good. So I'm going to try to get him excited about that return. Joker. Out. Couche. Sook. Yeah. Out. Couche. Done. Yeah. Nothing but a puzzle, guys. Take the pieces apart and break it down. Couché. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There, so it go. He would break every time I lean down. So I'm telling him not to do that. Okay. Run it. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to run the field. He's all pumped up. It's cold out here today. I haven't been having that in the last few days. Out. Sook. Here. Out. Couché. Yeah. One more time. Out. Couché. Up the air. Good, good. Keep in mind, I've got all my markers in place for an advanced dog like this. He understands his terminal bridge marker, the good, the duration marker, as well as the no marker. That is the key behind how you build the dog. That's the first thing you want to really get a dog. You see me doing it with the puppies. No good and yes. Good. Good. Ribbit. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Nope, good, 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 yeah. Good boy, good, now good boy. Good, out, yeah. Good. My strings are starting to get thin. Out, good, nope, out, couche. A little pumped up today, Joker, you're a little wound up. Good. Up, yeah. Good. 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 Look it. Good. So I'm going to try to get him coming back to me a lot more forceful. That's why I threw him between my legs that time. Okay. Off the air. Good boy. Out. No, you knocked over my camera. You're dead, dog. Out. Cushion. Pop the paint. Done. So I guess my emphasis on kind of showing you this is off the air. Cushion. Off the air. Nope. Is to emphasize breaking things down into pieces of the puzzle. Opie. 
So we'll sign off with that. Mark Parash and Protect Dog Training on Thanksgiving Day. You guys have a great Thanksgiving. I'm going to go get some served food here in a bit. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Yep. Free you go for it.